What is up everybody and welcome. In today's video we're going to be doing a very special unboxing. Uh, this knife, I've had it on order, I don't know, for three or four months now and um, I'm super excited to finally have it in hand. Let's go ahead and get the package itself open and then we will talk about the knife as soon as we're looking at it. Okay. Looks like an envelope. I feel a knife! Ugh. That was chaos. Uh, okay. Oh man. I'm excited guys. It's the, this is the lock side. I can feel the, I can feel the clip. So, um, yeah. There's a couple things I don't really so I'm a little concerned about this knife before I open it up Let me just I'm a little worried. Um, I do have a camera sort of partially on my face right now that I will cut to for my reaction, but um, So like I really liked the prototype at New York custom knife show of this knife. It was g10 uh, and it had Timascus uh, uh, pivot collars as well as the Timascus clip. I really like the coloring and sort of the the pattern of the Timascus on the collars and I basically wanted JD to mimic that knife except instead of black G10 I wanted to do carbon fiber in the same sort of uh, chiseled finish that the Kenpachi that I had was in. Um, now I've seen pictures of this knife the Timascus JD couldn't quite get it to be the same color palette as the prototype, so I don't really know how I'm going to feel about it. Um, I had in my head pretty much, you know, I knew what I wanted, which was that exact knife just in carbon fiber, um, and this one's going to be a little bit different, so I'm really excited to check it out. Um, and Timascus has a sort of thing where it usually looks different in a picture than it does, you know, in person. So even though I've seen pictures, they were pretty dark. Um, so I don't really know what this knife is going to look like in person. And then the final thing to mention is that JD at New York Custom Knife Show told me that if I ordered one of these, he would do something special for me. Um, now, he didn't specify. He just said something special. When he sent me pictures of the knife, he was very coy and never sent a photograph of the backspacer. Uh, no pictures had any corner of the backspacer in them at all. It was from all the other angles. Uh, and he told me that the special thing that he did was the backspacer. So let's go ahead and find out what we got here. Oh, it looks good. Oh, man. First of all, this model is just so sick. Oh, I love it. All right, I have. I still haven't physically seen the backspacer. Let's check it out. Oh, he did a Timascus backspacer. Nice, JD. That's sweet. That might even be black Timascus. It almost looks like zirconiums sort of uh, mixed in there. Huh. I'll have to take a closer look at that when uh, I'm not under the camera. I think it's a black Timascus um, spacer. Very neat. So one of the things that I really liked about this model um, was like this crazy cool flipper tab design. I'll show that to you guys. You can see it's got like the um, like the stop pin cut out. Like you can see it on the exterior, which is super cool. Very comfortable. You can see we have these giant Timascus pivot collars with the ribbing in them. Make sure that the camera's focused. And then of course, the Timascus clip. Cool uh, little pattern down here, by the way, on the edge. And um, the carbon fiber is a bit smooth. It doesn't quite have that same textured finish. It's a little bit more textured than smooth carbon fiber, um, but he definitely smoothed it out a little bit more on this one. The interesting thing that I like about these golds is this milling that's done. So you can see there's sort of like a large collar here, and then it kind of carries on into this line. Just follow it. 
I really like that line that goes all the way through the knife. It's very cool. Uh, and I do like the little bit of a harpoon on the blade here. Let's go ahead and flip it open. Of course, we are looking at beautiful dead center. God, this is such a gorgeous piece. Wow. Talk about snappy deployment, man. Holy cow. Uh, so for those of you unfamiliar, this is a JVO design. We are looking at uh, IKBS. So this, um, I don't know if JD's doing this for all the golds, but uh, this particular gold is multi-row ceramic IKBS. Um, you can see the multi-row logo there. And then even though it doesn't read ceramic uh, like it usually does, he showed me a picture of the inside. So uh, this one is running on multi-row ceramic IKBS. The blade is just so freaking gorgeous. Pretty simple, but gorgeous. It does look like a little bit of a fumble on the edge here. See how it kind of is lifted right there? It's interesting. But beautiful hand rub satin finish, as is common with these makers. Uh, the ergonomics on this thing are absolutely sweet. I gotta say, JVO really knows how to design a knife. Um, I got to try a few of his designs via JD's um, knives when I was at, uh, oh my God, when I was at um, New York Custom Knife Show. Did you guys see that? Oh, JD, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, it's so perfect. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> JD, JD, wow. Wow. This might be, this might be the best action in my collection now. Holy crap. I don't know how he did that. Holy shit. I even told him, he was like texting me and asking me, um, you know, how I wanted the action. And I was like, well, you know, I want it to be like a Thorburn L36M. I want it to have a super snappy deployment, but I also want the blade to fucking drop shut, which is like the hardest combination to do. I mean, most makers, um, you know, they make some sort of concession where, uh, they'll do a light lock bar um, and therefore have a sort of a weak detent or a weak deployment in favor of a drop shut blade. But this thing, I mean, definitely one of the fastest deployments in my collection. And then I don't think I have to say anything. I mean, you guys can see this, right? Like, it's like a, it's like a sheer Gorov. It's just, wow. Wow. Something is like dirty on the um, top of the knife here. I'm like rubbing it and it's not going away. I'll have to take a closer look at that. But man, he just, he crushed it, man. This knife is sick. Oh my God, it's so sick. All right, cool. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning in. I don't want to take too much more of your time on this one. Obviously, I will have a full video on this knife coming out sometime in the near future. Um, I do have some sweet stuff planned. There's a couple really special live streams that I have on the docket for the next two weeks, maybe, um, as well as a ton of sweet knives, excuse me, that are going to be coming across the table. So definitely look forward to those. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. If you'd like to see, of course, beautiful pictures of this sweet knife and other knives, you can do so by following me on Instagram, at Tavarish Works. Uh, please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to reach out to me for any reason whatsoever, you can do so by uh, emailing me at TavarishWorks at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.